Hi, this is Olivier. This is a quick video about managed role-based permission access. This topic is very sensitive because with this tool, you can give anyone the ability to manage roles and groups, and therefore they will have the ability to create, modify, or remove anyone's permissions in the instance. So we usually say that this is the key to the castle. In this video, I will share with you some details about the Manage Role-Based Permission Access tool and its two columns. Then I will log into the instance with a new user that I created from provisioning and I will change my password. This will be my step number one. I will then navigate to Admin Center and will give my user the ability to manage role-based permission access. Then I will log out and come back to the instance to test my changes. In Manage Role-Based Permission Access tool, there are two important columns. The first one is called Role-Based Permission Admin, and the second one is called Allow Access to this page. So in Manage Role-Based Permission Access, when we click on Add User, we grant the permission to manage permission roles and manage permission groups. The new user will be in the list with Role-Based Permission Admin box checked. If you select the box called Allow Access to this page, then the user will be able to add or remove other users from the group with access to this feature, to this page. As a security precaution, the recommendation is to have at least two users with access to this page. But because this is very sensitive, we don't expect to have many users in this page either. The RBP admin is not able to uncheck its own access to the page because this would forbid him or her to view the page and they will not be able to grant this access back to themselves. The checkbox needs to be checked and therefore it is marked in grey. It is now time to navigate to the application to see what it looks like in the tool. I will use the user that I created from provisioning and log in to the instance for the first time. I simply need the username and the password. So when you log into the instance for the first time, you may be requested to enter a security question in some cases. and to change the password. I'm gonna click Save, and I will navigate to Admin Center. There are not many options that are available to my user. So I'm going to go to Manage Employees, Set User Permissions, and the only available option is Manage Role-Based Permission Access. I'm going to click here, and I can see several users. I can see the first name, the last name, and the two columns that I mentioned before, Allow Access to this page and Role-Based Permission Admin. There are two pages of results, so I can either increase the number of results per page, I can navigate to the previous page. I can see the user that I created from provisioning. And because I created it from provisioning, this user already has the uh, checkbox to allow access to this page. I'm simply going to check the other box, role-based permission admin. There is no save button. I can immediately see a green messages, a green message saying that the role based permission, admin permission is granted. So as usual, when I make a change to the permissions, uh, if I want to test it, I log out and I log back into the system. So let's see the permissions for my new user. 
from admin center. If I go back to set user permissions, I can see multiple options now, manage permission groups, manage permission roles, manage role-based permission access, and additional permissions. This concludes this video, and I hope that this was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching it.